The season so far has been a difficult one for us. You know, when I joined Stade Francais, I didn't realise that you know the club was in a period of transition where you know we'd had a lot of change of coaching. And unfortunately, I think that's reflected in our league position. And we've got a lot of talent, but if you don't win your home games, then you struggle. But we've battled well in the in the you know the Amlin Challenge Cup. You know, it's where we've where we've been fighting for silverware. You know, I think it's very difficult. Um, a season that's very long anyway and have the Challenge Cup sometimes people complain about too much rugby but for us it's an opportunity to, to really perform in Europe you know the club's never won a trophy in Europe yet and we're looking forward to, to doing that. It's always difficult to talk about you know plans for the, for the future but you know as far as I'm concerned my commitment is always to, to England and, and making sure I'm the best player for England uh, you know I think with the RFU letter and everything else coming out it's really made me you know make a decision I don't want to ruin my chance of playing for England but moving for the sake of moving is very dangerous but I am looking forward to, to making sure that I make myself as competitive as I can be for my country. How am I prepared for the World Cup? It's a real difficult question because there's so much rugby to be played before the you know the, the World Cup happens I missed very narrowly out on the 2007 World Cup and that was bitterly disappointing you know I was a younger player there slightly more you know immature and that stuff can, can, can affect you. This time round, I'll only be happy when I'm sitting on a plane, on an air, you know, sitting on an aeroplane strapped in, ready to go to New Zealand.